initial reaction to being a Buffalo Bill? I'm excited about it. Uh, you know, I spoke with Chan yesterday on the phone, uh, or no, excuse me, on Monday on the phone, and uh, you know, I'm looking forward to the opportunity. Uh, you know, I got a history with him coming from Kansas City. Uh, I got to speak with him last year for two uh, two games that we played against Buffalo. You know, up there and at home. And uh, you know, at the end of the day, I'm excited, and I think it's a great opportunity for me to go up there and get a chance to compete for a job. You were involved in what NFL history, 50, 60 years from now, may be the most unique free agent period. Uh, four months of pr uh, free agency in basically four days. What was yesterday like for you? How, you know, you, normally in an off season you would have a couple of weeks, maybe a couple months to decide where you're going to go. And I mean, you really had to pull the trigger pretty quick, didn't you? Yeah, it was. It was very stressful. I had a lot of anxiety. You know, the biggest part for me was not knowing where I was going. Uh, you know, it's with the flip of a coin, you know, just like that, I'm packing my bags today and tomorrow and going to be heading up to Buffalo. So, like I said, I'm excited about it. Uh, I'm excited it's over with and done. And I know where I'm going. I can prepare my mindset for that. I'll definitely have to pack a bunch of coats. But uh, at the end of the day, I'm happy about it. And uh, I'm going to go up there and get a chance to get back on the field. How many teams, uh, and you don't need to get into too many specifics, how many teams were in the mix? It seems like it came down to two teams. and. And I guess maybe the relationship with Chan might have been the X factor that kind of pushed you ultimately to Buffalo. It was. I mean, there was probably about six or seven teams, not going to name any. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, I'm happy about the decision I made. Uh, you know, and I'm excited for this opportunity ahead of me. It's definitely a great opportunity for me, you know, being able to choose kind of, you know, seeing the teams that are, you know, obviously after me and then being able to pick, you know, the one that I feel most comfortable with. And like I think it comes down to the, I feel like the relationship that I have with Chan definitely pushed me over the edge to want to go there and, you know, get to, get to work there. For the rabid football fans in Buffalo that don't know you, what – what uh, what are you bringing to the table to the Buffalo Bills franchise? I'm going to bring a lot of excitement, uh, hard work, dedication, and uh, I definitely uh, we're going to get get on that winning track to uh, bring a championship back to Buffalo. And I guess you know for Bills fans and and for anybody else, they may be better off looking at your highlights of Kansas City than Miami, so to speak, because that's the offense you're comfortable with. That is, and that was the offense that Chan put together. Uh, They're halfway through the season. And uh, you know, he stuck with that, and he actually took it on to Buffalo. So I'm excited to get back in that offense, uh, something I feel comfortable in. And uh, get, I'm, like I said, I'm ready to go back to work. We will, definitely. Uh, and i got a great relationship with Ryan. Uh, you know, never really talked with him on the phone, but I know when I played with, for Kansas City, when I played against him when he was in Cincinnati, I was able to talk with him before and after the game. Uh, then these past two years that I've been in Kansas City, or excuse me, been in Miami, I've been able to talk with him before and after the games as well. And uh, what a great guy he is. He's smart, intelligent. Uh, he's a great worker. He's had a great career so far. And uh, looking forward to backing him up and pushing him.